Charge International, the external service from Czech Radio. News. Said Russia was behind the cyber attacks on Czech institutions. The Czech Defense Minister is to discuss security and Czech US cooperation in Washington. And the gas distributor by Scarfly Marinska has announced a 39% price hike on gas. The IG systems of several Czech state and land state institutions have been the target of cyber attacks since Tuesday. According to Interior Minister, the Akashan the attacks were led by Russian hackers. The minister said they haven't managed to steal any information or access to the data. On Wednesday evening, the National Cyber and Information Security Agency announced that it had itself been targeted. The attacks continued on Thursday morning, according to the agency, with targeted websites including the one belonging to the office of the Czech government. According to the Czech news agency, at least some of the attacks are being claimed by the pro-Russian hacker group Killnet. The Czech police informed via Twitter that the case is being investigated. Czech defense minister Jana Chernoch arrives on a working visit to the United States, where she is due to discuss the security situation and Czech-U.S. cooperation in the field of defense with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Before her departure for Washington, the Prime Minister said she would discuss the possibility of acquiring supersonic fighter jets from the United States and further purchases of helicopters and tanks. The two sides will also discuss the conclusion of a defense treaty between the Czech Republic and the UN. The Czech Republic has issued a 302,000 humanitarian visas to Ukrainian refugees since the start of the war according to data released by the Ministry of Interior. The inflow of refugees has slowed and the Ministry is now issuing around 2,800 visas a day to newcomers. So this is the reception of uh, Radio Prague via WRMI in Florida using telescopic antenna, uh, not telescopic, sorry, the MLA-30 uh, kind of clipped to the, uh, there's an antenna jack here on the side. So playing around with that. Um, although it drifts in single sideband, of course, the drifting isn't that big in uh, AM mode. See the uh, little switch between the zero and the one here, but uh, she receives well. It's interesting how um, I didn't remember also the audio, or the audio was sounding on this radio. Um, so it's kind of interesting. Of course, narrow and uh, wide filter. Uh, this is always in wide. Narrow is a lot more muffled. So, uh, kind of nice to uh, play, playing around and listening to Radio Prague via WRMI on 15770. Supplying over 425,000 households. The Christian Democrats, one of the parties in the ruling coalition, is due to elect a new leadership at an election conference in Ostrava at the weekend. Party leader, Labour and Social Affairs Minister Marian Nurechka will run for re election unchallenged. The conference will also vote on changes to the party's office, discuss the party's policy priorities, and prepare a strategy for campaigning in the Senate and local elections due to take place in the autumn. And finally, a quick look at the weather forecast. Friday should be mostly overcast with rain in the eastern parts of the country, predominantly, and day temperatures between 12 and 16 degrees Celsius. I'm Daniel Ozerva, and that's the end of the news. Hello and welcome to Radio Crew, the external service of Czech Radio. Here's what's coming up in today's program. We speak to an expert who claims that Czech and Slovaks are leading the moral response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We also seek to highlight the dangers of giving alcohol to children. And later we explore futuristic Tatra cars, one of the icons of Czechoslovak design. All that is coming up, so please stay with us. The Czech Republic and Slovakia are showing a new way forward for Western democracy with their response to Russia's war in Ukraine. That is the view of Berlin-based political scientist Benjamin Kalik, 
in an article published this week in Rusi.